Hello guys, how you doing? It's me, Jack, mate. Now, I'm a 24-year-old man that puts himself on the internet. It sounds like I'm signing up for a dating website. I'm not. But if I was to do that, I would definitely use Badoo. Guys, you can't joke and it's not another ad. <laughs> I'm a 24 year old man that puts himself on the internet a lot and that means one thing and one thing only. I get a lot of hate. My appearance is constantly subjected to judgement. I mean a few months back when I had long hair, a lot of people said that I looked like an ugly version of Keith Lemon. Imagine that. Imagine that! An ugly version of Keith Lemon. Keith Lemon is an ugly version of Keith Lemon. But having said that, today, it all changes. Just like a man that has gone to Ikea and bought some furniture to eat his dinner off of and then placed it the wrong way up on the carpet, the tables are about to get turned. Today, we're not going to be roasting me. Oh no. And we're not going to be roasting other YouTube. I know everyone has literally just simultaneously had a heart attack there. I can't believe it either. Today, we are roasting you fuckers, the viewers. I guess you should start calling me V1 I, because this YouTuber is about to fuck his audience. <laughs> Too soon. Anyway, I hopped onto Twitter earlier and I posted this tweet. Doing a roasting my viewers video. If you want to be featured, tweet me a few pics of yourself. Disclaimer, I won't hold back. If you're easily offended, don't play this game. Then again, if you are easily offended, why are you watching this channel? So with that disclaimer well and truly said, let's get right into abuse! <laughs> Okay, so straight away we've got a tweet from my old mate and hipster friend, Stevie White. As we all know, Stevie is a proper cretin who does a lot of cringy stuff, so I can only assume that this picture of him is going to be very, very cringy. And I've not even seen it yet, so let's have a look. Sure, uh, okay. Oh, well I need stabbing in the fucking face with a long blade. That is probably the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> look at that roll up. Oh, it's not even lit! It's not even a joke, I genuinely look like a smackhead, don't I? I look like Steve Buscemi's had a 10 year battle with heroin and lost. That's the rankest photo I've ever seen. Stevie, you're not getting away with it. You fucking look like the creators of American Dad, Drew Stan, but forgot to draw his top lip. Alright, your mug? Thanks for sending your photo in, Stevie. Let's catch up soon, yeah? <laughs> okay, Rolian Gacha! has tweeted in. In a way, it's nice to see that Phil Mitchell's making the most of his Claire's accessories vouchers, isn't it? Must have missed that episode of EastEnders. Oi, Phil, you better not have relapsed again. I have, mum. I have. I can't help myself. I went and got a bright blue ball on my tragus. Oh, Phil! Love you really, Rowley. Danielle's tweeted a throwback to her younger years, <laughs> and she's probably wondering if her dad's gonna spend any of them Claire's accessories vouchers on her, if you know what I mean. She looks like Ben Mitchell. So, oh, Max tweeted a picture of himself. Let's have a look. For fuck's sake. Come on, Matt. Have a day off, mate. Firstly, why are you holding a baseball bat indoors? That's not threatening at all. And secondly, I'm not saying you're unattractive because I can't see your face in that picture, so it would be unfair of me to judge. However, the fact that your finger doesn't even want to be taking that selfie is a little bit of a giveaway. I've never seen a finger try and do a runner from taking a selfie, but you've managed it. Abigail now with a photo of her from presumably Reading Festival. I don't know what the fuck that is on your head, but already I know you were the weirdest looking cunt at the festival. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, second weirdest looking cunt at the festival. Oh, I mean, look at that chest, Jack. That's big. That is big. Oh, I can't remember how much I was benching back then, but I know it was a lot. Oh, and the proof is in the pudding. Look at them pectorials. Donnie sent a picture in now, and look at... <laughs> This is too easy. This, I might make this a series, because this shit writes itself. It really does. I mean, it looks like Ernie's left Bert for another Muppet, doesn't it? So Bert's been forced to get a nine to five to support the kids. Uh, you look like a discount version of David Vianich, which, no offense, booge, if you're watching. Not quite copper 90 there, Donnie. Sort of copper 25 uh, push. Oh, okay, so instantly I noticed two things with your picture, Keisha. You've gone for that sort of pinky red eyeshadow that girls sometimes do, or as I like to call it, the conjunctivitis look. Looks like you've got an eye infect. It really does. And secondly, I know 16 year old lads get the fade in their hair, don't they? You are the first person I've ever seen to rock the unibrow fade. Look at that, you've just got one eyebrow that fades in the middle. David Attenborough could do an hour long BBC special about that and I'd tune in. Oh, I've just had an idea. I need to get my laptop. I'll be back in a second. I got my laptop because I just need to do this on Photoshop. I mean, I'm craving this. Let me just, just put that there. Do that. There we go. Fly away, little one. Fly away. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. A random lesbo got in touch, and that's our actual username, by the way, before the media go all Jack Maynard on me. A random lesbo got in touch and says, please roast this pic of me at the airport when I was 16. I'm sure she doesn't speak like that. You kind of look like you've just had a massive row with Elaine the Pain over a Maroon 5 CD. Look at that. You are sick of the dumping ground. Ain't you, Tracy? I mean, if you're too young to get that reference, if that comedy is wasted on you, then fuck off. This is gold! Not so ho tea says, just burn me alive, will you? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna need Photoshop again. I'm not even gonna say anything about this photo. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> there we go. That's Brit. I'm almost... I've got a semi. Oh, 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 scrim. Again, if you're too young to get that reference, stop watching this channel. Oh, go, uh, I mean, Alfie's got a new vlog out. Frank says he's on the left. So, cheers for clearing that up, Frank. I mean, it's quite a cute picture, really, from Frank. He's got himself a lovely girlfriend. I'm happy for you, Frank. I really am happy for you. Enjoy the relationship, buddy. While it lasts, because look at them fucking sideburns. There's absolutely zero chance with them sideburns that your lovely girlfriend's not already three quarters of the way through fucking Tinder. Shave them off and she'll stop cheating on you. That's harsh. <laughs> she is, though. Come on. Oh, Jess Burnett, fuck me. What are you using to slick down your hair? Fucking cement. That is great. Again, I'm gonna need Photoshop for this one. Oh. Do, 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 move that. <laughs> I mean, that was minimal effort, and that's already spot on. And I thought looking like an ugly Keith Lemon was bad. Imagine looking like Hitler, for fuck's sake. Gaga's booty uh, just reminds me of a badly drawn magic card. I know the phrase has got to catch them all, but after looking at that, there's one I don't particularly fancy. <laughs> I'll leave that one even if it does help complete my Pokedex. <laughs> the worst thing is, I'm not even sorry. Celine Baxter's turned up with a turtle. I can't decide, Celine, whether it's you or the turtle that looks most like Nick Crompton. Callum now, uh, the first man in the world to develop multicolored acne. Pop a spot, Crayola. How's that happen? I didn't know it was possible for a man to look like both a child and a paedophile at the same time. <laughs> but this geezer's giving it a fucking good go. Simon Doyle now. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Simon Doyle now, rocking the world's most unnecessary scarf. It looks like you're being shit out of an elephant's asshole, Simon. That is a disgusting scarf. Never wear it again. Please. Oh, mate. Summer Kaylee tweeted this picture of herself and the eyebrows are rank. I don't even need to elaborate on that. The eyebrows are bad. Summer, your eyebrows look like something you would see smeared across every toilet and every weather space. And I'm not talking about the posters advertising the great deals on Fish Fridays. I'm talking about shit. It's fine. She, it's an old photo. She does her eyebrows different now. I fucking hope. There's no way that's a human. That is not a... That can't be a human. I, someone just 100% just put a wig on a slice of ham. That's all that is. That's mental. Chris says, toast me, bitch. Clever. She didn't say, she said, she switched up the words. It's cute. Chris, you look a bit like if Paris Hilton wasn't born into money. Fergus has submitted his modelling agency photo. Ooh, big man on campus. And I like the fact that he stated that. Just send me your picture, you knobhead. Ironically, I'm probably the first person that Fergus has ever submitted that photo to who's not completely ignored it. I've used it for a video. Jared here, just hanging out on a wall, being cool, being trendy. Actually, fuck. I know what Jared reminds me of. You're coming back. And let's get Jasper back up and put him there. It's uncanny. I need to stop making those references. Kristen, bless you for sending in your picture, but I can't roast you. I can't. Because I say it's just one of my favourite films ever and you were fucking amazing in it. So I respect you more than anything. It's mad that even Matthew, mid-selfie, is disappointed by himself. Look at that. That's the face of shame, isn't it? Now, I don't know which one you are, Rob, but I'm hoping you're the one in the middle. The guy in the middle looks like Kurt Cobain, if Kurt Cobain was everything that Kurt Cobain hated. I don't know what that means, but weirdly, a spot on. Julia, ah, whoa, what the fuck is that? I've never seen a head look like that before in my life. When I was a kid, I had this game, and it was a little, I think it was a shark's head, or a tiger's head. We'll go with shark. It was a shark's head, like that, and had really sharp teeth, like a shark would. And you basically had to carefully pull its teeth out before it snapped on your hand. Which, come to think about it, was quite a cruel game for a kid to have. But Julia, your head reminds me of that game. I can imagine just placing Julia's head onto the table. Ah, uh, Just having to pull her teeth out before Julia went, but I do really fucking appreciate that that picture is on a green screen though, because that just means it's going to be even easier to Photoshop. <laughs> oh god. Did you hear guys? They're releasing a new Jaws film. Look at that. I'd be running off too, Julia, to be fair. Let's do one more. Fuck it. Careful, Julia, you silly sausage. That water's boiling. Ah, turns out Weird Al's just discovered poppers for the first time. 
Again, I don't know what that means. It looks like Andrew can't work out whether he wants to be a gamer or a cam girl. Do you know what I mean? He will do literally anything for those Twitch donations. One minute, he's absolutely smashing out a game of Skyrim. The next minute, just smearing cream cheese over his tits. Like that, for a fiver. This is weird. Uh, that haircut tells me that you love two things, Tom. Both Air Maxes and MDMA. <laughs> Look at Jeff. Look at Je Oh, Jeff! Jeff's just looking pensively into the distance, just wondering if the nine long years he spent putting deep, meaningful quotes onto Tumblr was worth it. Mm. Here's the answer for you, Jeff. No, mate. No, it wasn't. Tumblr's never worth it. Move on. Okay, this one, I'm not even going to mention the hair, because it's... that's too easy. But why is Keelan wearing a sewer? He looks about six. Keelan, mate! You don't need to suit up for a Club Penguin meeting. I mean, you just know that Keelan is absolute top boy on Club Penguin. 100%. Nobody's fucking with Keelan's igloo. Tim looks like me if I'd never managed to lose my virginity. Look at Dylan the big man. He's got his top unbuttoned like that. He's strutting about on the beach. You just know that Dylan thinks he's Conor McGregor. In his head, he's the notorious. Do you know what I mean? When in reality, he looks like a cross between Woody Harrelson and Ral Mope. In fact, I think if you look closely in the background of that picture, you can see Paul Gascoigne with a fishing rod and a pack of chicken. It's a great reference. Again, if you're too young for that reference, then fuck off! This is gold! So there we go, guys. That was episode one of Roasting My Viewers slash Haven't Got a Title for this series. Done! If this video gets 15,000 thumbs up, I will make this a series. I will continue to roast my viewers every other week. Anyway guys, I've been Jack, mate, you've been you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I make videos two, three times a week sometimes. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.